Please be seated. Well, thank you all for coming to be a part of Ryan and Tanya's wedding celebration. My name is Cameron. This is my wife, Michelle, and we're going to be performing today's ceremony. Well, since we've been married for 30 years, I know we don't look like it. Right? But, <laughs> um, I wanted to start by giving, we wanted to start by giving some advice to the couple here. So, Ryan, I want you to remember this, okay? This is what you need to say at all times. Whenever something happens, every time, say, you are totally right, honey. I did not know what I was thinking. Okay, you, got, you got that one? You got that one? And then the second one is, you are totally right, honey. I do not know what I was thinking. And then another one is, or it's totally right, whatever. I don't think you're alive. Initiate that tone. Oh, you're totally right, honey. I don't know what I was thinking. No, in all seriousness, I do want to say that being called to be the leader of your, your household it doesn't mean that you're going to be overbearing. It doesn't mean you're going to be bossy. It doesn't mean you're going to be vanity. It means that you're going to be supported. That's what a leader is. They support at all times. Whether you think she needs it or not, you need to be supportive and be there for her. And there for be the strength that she needs in all seriousness. If you can do that, everything will be fine. Okay, here's your advice, Tanya. Okay, just remember this. Take a deep breath and quietly walk away. <laughs> Quietly, walk. Really deep, deep breath. No, really, if you don't lose sight of the love that brought you guys here today, you're going to love. I know it's kind of funny, but love really does conquer. Every most. <laughs> most, most. Remember it. Because as time goes, you'll start to forget the freshness of this moment. So remember it. Bring your mind right back to it. Okay, now it's time for you to do your vows. Okay, I'm going to start with Ryan. Ryan, listen carefully. Listen carefully. Do you take Tanya to be your best friend? Will you be her faithful partner and keep her as your one true love? Do you promise to encourage and inspire her to be the best person she can be? Where am I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm supporting. Yeah. Okay. Do you promise to uh, be there for her through the good times and the bad, and love her unconditionally? If you promise all these things, say I do. I do. <laughs> Tanya, do you promise? <laughs> to be Ryan's best friend, to be there, to be his faithful partner, and keep him as your one true love. Do you promise to encourage him, inspire him, to be his best self that he can be? And do you promise to be there through both the good times and the bad? Because they're really both. You guys already know that. <laughs> Will you laugh with him and cry with him and love him? Without any conditions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get that mic there because of that. <laughs> all right, now it's time to exchange the rings. Michael? Oh, oh. all right. Well, look, you're ready to go. Go ahead. As a symbol of these. I'm sorry, no, it's not going to the rings. As a symbol of these never-ending promises you have just made with each other, first, Ryan, will you please put your ring on her finger? You can there. Okay, now 
Now, Tanya, can you please put your name on the last finger? Okay, join hands again. And while you are hands joined and facing each other, I just want to share a blessing over the hands that you have now joined. Remember this. These are the hands of your best friend. They are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will love you and cherish you throughout all the years. They will comfort you with the slightest touch. These hands will wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children someday, and they will help hold your family together. I knew we were going to get that <laughs> These hands are there to give you strength when you need it. And these are the hands that, when you are wrinkled and aged, will still be there, reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness. Okay, Ryan and Tanya have chosen to make a symbol of this joining today, so they will each be taking a separate jar, and they will join their individual jars into one single jar. This is to represent that today their own individual lives are becoming one together. Immediately after that, they will make it legal by signing their marriage license here in the presence of all their friends and family. Okay, so we're going to do that now. <laughs> Please join hands again and face each other. We made it through that. <laughs> Your hands are so shaky. Okay. Ryan and Tanya, do you face each other? <laughs> I would like to say, check. Real quick, I'd like to say a quick, prayer, a quick blessing. Yeah, so everybody back. Lord, we just want to thank you for this day. Thank you for this time. Thank you for these people that are here to um, encourage and help Ryan and Tanya in their life's long adventure. We pray that uh, they will remember their love and the strength of all these people here that they can go to and that they can get encouragement from and uh, friendship from. And we thank you for this, for everything you give them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, now, yeah. 
Now, after witnessing the public confession of love by the authority given to me by the state of Washington, I would like to pronounce you, Ryan, and you, Tanya, as husband and wife. Okay, Ryan, it's time. Everybody there. It is my pleasure to present to all of you Mr. and Mrs. Ryan Blackwell. Yeah.